BC5150 contains a touchscreen with user-friendly software and the power status indicator indicates the working status of it. The users can load sample through the sample probe after press the aspirate key. You can switch on BC5150 from the rear where has diluent and inlet and the waste outlet. The waste sensor can monitor the liquid level and gives alarm earlier than waste is full. The DIFF lice and LH lice are located on the left door. BC5150 also has four USB ports for the connection of printer, keyboard, mouse, etc. And there is one LAN port which can access to LIS. Please use clean EDTAK2 or EDTAK3 anticoagulant collection tubes to collect venous blood samples and be sure to collect at least 0.5 milliliters of blood every time. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender, etc. and select the whole blood mode accordingly. Mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. Please use clean EDTAK2 or EDTAK3 anticoagulant collection tubes to collect capillary blood samples and be sure to collect at least 120 microliters of capillary blood every time. Please run the capillary whole blood sample within 3 minutes to 2 hours after collection. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender, etc and select the capillary whole blood mode accordingly. Tapping the bottom of the tube over eight times to mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. Click the diluent dispensing icon, then present a clean tube to the sample probe. Press the aspirate key to dispense 480 microliters diluent. To continue with diluent dispensing, repeat the steps. Click Cancel after preparing all the diluents. Add 20 microliters of capillary blood or venous blood to the diluent. Close the tube cap and mix it properly. After mixing the capillary sample with the diluent, be sure to wait 5 minutes and then remix before running the sample, and run the pre-diluted sample within 30 minutes after the mixing. You may enter the sample information including sample ID, name, age, gender, etc. and select the pre-dilute mode accordingly. Mix the pre-diluted sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. When the time for which the analyzer is free from fluidic operations reaches that, you have set at the setup screen of the analyzer. Default setting is 15 minutes. A dialog box will pop up, prompting entering standby status. You may exit the standby status by pressing the aspirate key or tap on the screen. You can review the sample results by table after tapping table review and see the graphics by tapping graph review. For unwanted sample results, select it and tap delete. Every sample result is editable. Click the desired sample result and then click the Edit Result button. Modify the results and tap OK to save the changes. Select sample records to be printed and then tap Print to print them. You can also select Auto Print in Setup menu to print out report automatically. If you would like to further analyze some sample results, tap Export after inserting a flash disk. If the parameter is followed by an H or L, it means the analysis result has exceeded the upper or lower limit of the reference range. If the parameter is followed by an R, it means the analysis result is questionable. If you see star 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 as opposed to the result, it means the result is invalid.
the diff scattergram gives lymphocyte, monocyte, neutrophil, and eosinophil results. Additionally, atypical lymphocyte is a research parameter as well as flag located here. Large immature, including promyelocyte, malocyte, metamyelocyte, is a research parameter as well as flag located here. NRBC is a flag located here. You may also see the scattergram from the other angle for a better view of eosinophil. The presence of WBC abnormal flag is because one or several clusters of WBC are not well differentiated. It indicates the interference of PLT clump or NRBC. The basohistogram gives the results of basophil as well as the total WBC count. The RBC histogram ABN flag indicates the possible presence of microcytes, macrocytes, anisocytosis, RBC agglutination, and dimorphic histogram. And the PLT histogram ABN flag indicates the possible presence of microcytes, RBC debris, giant PLT or PLT clump. BC5D is the QC of BC5150. Its shelf life is 3 months, but you have to use it in 14 days after opening the cap. With importing the QC file, BC5150 can load the target value, lot number, expiration date, level of QC automatically. You can download the QC file from MinRay website or get it from your local MinRay representative. Run the QC through the sample probe in QC mode after mixing well. You may review the QC results in the LJQC graph to see if it's in the range. SCCal Plus is the calibrator of BC5150. Its shelf life is one month, but you have to use it in seven days after opening the cap. We recommend you do calibration by calibrator. You need to input the target value of the calibrator first, then mix the calibrator tube well and run it through the sample probe. After running the calibrator 6 to 10 times, you may get the new calibration factor. You are able to save it when the CV% percent value is in the reproducibility range. You may see the residual volume of regents in the screen. When the residual regent volume is reaching to the end, it will be red highlighted and BC5150 will give an alarm when the regent is run out. Tap the regent you want to replace and then tap setup. Scan the barcode at the screen. If the barcode is invalid, you may enter the digits manually. Tap Replace to save the expiration date and start to replace the regent. Click the shutdown button and click OK. When the dialog box for promoting probe cleanser maintenance displays, present probe cleanser to the sample probe. Press the aspirate key. The probe will aspirate probe cleanser, then BC5150 will clean the whole system automatically. After shutting down finishes, the messages, please power off the analyzer, will be displayed. Press the power off switch on the back of the instrument to power off. If you'd like to keep BC5150 working for 24 hours a day, you will need to set up the time-based daily maintenance. When the time arrives, BC5150 will prompt a reminder for a probe cleanser maintenance. It has the same effect as shutdown maintenance.